फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय वर्क प्लेस एट राणा घाट वेस्ट बंगाल इंडिया मोहंत मेनी रेक्सिस इन इंटोमेशन कैटरैक्ट्स वेर ओनली एस पी एम सी इज यूज एज फिजिकोलिस्टिक सब्सटेंस एंड नेवर सोडियम हाइलोरनेट इज यूज आफ्टर स्टेनिंग द एंटीरियर कैप्सूल विथ ट्राइप एंड ब्लू डाई इंजेक्ट टू परसेंट हाइड्रोक्सी प्रोफाइल मिथाइल सेलुलूज एंड फिल ऑफ द एंटीरियर चेंबर Now use a 26 gauge bayonet needle. Go through the right side port and make a puncture at the center and make a C flap. You can see some fluid comes out, turbid fluid comes out, which indicates that the intralenticular pressure is raised. And now do a small rexis, a mini rexis. Don't try to do a large rexis at this stage. and this mini rexis can resist radial extension when you attempt to remove some cortical matter in this way i'm using a simco 23g you can use by manual irrigation aspiration whatever you use remove some cortical lens matter and reduce the intralenticular pressure In this case I am going through the right side port now and removing the cortex around on a clock area a significant amount of lens matter should be removed now I am going through the left side port and uh, removing some cortical matter from 10 o'clock and around 10 o'clock and now what has happened the cataract is no longer intumescent cataract it is just like an ordinary cataract now i inject spmc again no sodium hyaluronate spmc again and use a vana scissor to make a cut at the margin of the rexis it should not be radial cut it should be an oblique cut and and last is rexis into an optimum sized capsular rexis of 5 mm or 5.5 mm in hard cataracts you can make a rexis of even 6 mm and now this looks like this Now let us see another case. This case is more intumescent. The entire capsule has been stained. This is two percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose filling of the anterior chamber. And now, in this case, I have not made the side port, so making a very small flap and. it should not be a radial cut it should be a curved flap hold this capsular tag and convert this tag into a small rexis this rexis need not be round but it should be a continuous rexis which will resist movement of simco or by manual while we remove some cortical lens matter this is 23g simco i am removing some cortical matter from 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock and now i have gone through the side port and uh, removing some cortex from rest of the areas sometimes we just have to do some side to side movement of the lens mass so that lot of lens matter can come from behind along the equator anteriorly so in this way 
we can reduce intra-lenticular pressure to a great extent and change the behavior of such cataracts completely. This cataract will no longer behave like an intumescent cataract. The lens capsule will not tend to run to periphery. Again, an oblique cut with a vana scissor introducing through the 2.8 mm main wound and itrota forceps is used to convert this mini rexis into an optimum sized rexis. This procedure has been described by many authors, but they advise use of sodium hyaluronate. But in my technique, I never use sodium hyaluronate. Hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is good enough. Thank you very much for your attention.